Proper placement of the pop-up emitter when you're discharging a French drain really is critical. On this job, we came out and we found that there's a French drain that has a pop-up on this side of the sidewalk. Take a look at this muddy mess. When using a pop-up emitter for your discharge of the line, placement is critical. Look at the mess that was created from using a pop-up emitter in the wrong place. It was placed just before the sidewalk. Granted, this line is also gravel perforated pipe, a French drain, and therefore the water just lays in the line and it leaches back out through the holes in the pipe. It's working backwards. The problem is that we need to go through that sidewalk and out to the curb. Ideally, we like to cut the walk and place the pipe under there. Also, we like to core through the curb, but in this subdivision, it's, they won't allow that. So you have to use a pop-up. The pop-up needs to be placed at the curb for, for proper drainage. So let's take a look at what needs to be done to tunnel a sidewalk. Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here with Apple Drains, Charlotte, North Carolina. Actually, we're in a small suburb called Waxhall. And what we're doing is they've got a horrible mess there, but we need to get underneath this sidewalk. And you can see that it's just been flooding all through here, made it just such a mud pie. The reason there is such a muddy mess is because the pop-up was placed just before the sidewalk. That water had to back up through the line and because it's gravel perforated pipe, the water leaks back out. It worked backwards. We've got to get through that sidewalk. In this HOA, the Homeowners Association, they do not want to cut the walk and they do not want to core the curb. So we've got to tunnel the walk and put the pop-up out at the street. Whether you're using the pop-up emitter or a small catch basin here at the end of the line, placement is so critical. You know, we get hundreds of calls a week, and this is just one of the service calls that we go out on. This is not our system that was installed. This was installed by someone else. And you can see that they just stopped at the sidewalk. Why? Because they didn't want to deal with going underneath of the walk. It's also interesting to note that this French drain was wrapped with a geofabric, and the water tended to travel on the outside of the fabric causing this problem to become even worse. But whether it's a French drain or a downspout drain, yard drain, the placement of that pop-up really is crucial. Always remember to think about that discharge of your water. What's going to happen when that water comes out? Where will it go? So if you look carefully, hopefully you can see it under there. We're about halfway through and about a third of the way through on the other side. So. We're pretty close to getting underneath here. We just need to keep on going. So about the best way to tunnel that I know of is to dig yourself the trench. Then you can take your small spade shovel and what you're doing is you're scraping at the top of the sidewalk down and push down, pry down, and then come back and pull out the dirt. It takes a little bit of effort, but once you get into it, you got it. Oh yeah. Then you just pull out, even if it's just a little bit like that. That's great. <laughs> Take some from the bottom. Again, it doesn't come out in big pieces, but it does come out. Twist your shovel, pull out your debris. Again, you can see it's not a lot, but it does come out. Hopefully you can see we've got a nice hole through there. We just need to widen it up and we'll be able to push our pipe right underneath here. So you can see our pipe is going underneath. It comes out here on the other side. Now we're just going to go ahead and hook it up to the existing drain pipe right here. So basically we're going to go from corrugated pipe to solid PVC. 
So we've got a small piece of four inch corrugated. It has a bell on it to hook on. And we have an adapter that will hook onto the PVC and then PVC out. This adapter slides into the PVC and it just locks in place. Then this piece of corrugated snaps on to that adapter, just like that. Then we can slide it forwards. Now we can just connect our pipe together. Make sure it's together on the coupling, and it is. Now we're going on the other side and continue our PVC out to the pop-up. We're using their old pop-up. Even though it's all dirty, it still works great. Pop-up has an emitter that as water comes down the line, pushes it up, lets the water out. Basically, it's just a 90 degree elbow. We're gonna cut that to length right here at the curb. You know, a lot of people ask me, Chuck, why do you like to play in the mud? Well, it's not just playing in the mud. What we're doing is we're solving problems. It's not just installs that we do. We do so many repairs every week. And this is just a typical repair that we find most every day. A rather muddy, slippery spot. Mud is slippery, that's for sure. I'm just gonna pound this on here. Watch your eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's on there. Put our emitter back on there. Now we're just going to make one more connection. We'll be ready to cover it up. So yeah, pretty muddy but we've got it installed you can see the pop-up works great let that area dry and it should settle hey this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day